Hi, I'm Hay House author and speaker David Essel. Have you thought about the fact of balance in your life and have you tried for years to become more balanced in maybe everything you do? Well, I'm going to tell you something that might be a little shocking. We're wasting our time. Anyone who's trying to live a balanced life is absolutely wasting your time and this isn't maybe what you're sitting here listening and hoping to hear. People talk about life balance like it's something possible, but it's absolutely impossible. Let me give you an example. A number of years ago, listening to Gloria Steinem, she had this audience in the cup of her hand. She was awesome, just dynamic. And at the end of her presentation, she was taking questions. And this one woman raised her hand and said, Gloria, is it possible to have it all? I mean, can you have the great relationship, wonderful children, doing the job, making a difference in this world, having enough money to be comfortable? Is it possible to do it all, to have it all? And there was this amazing quiet in the room. And Gloria Steinem stood back for a second from the podium, looked around the room, then walked back up, and the answer was yes. And half of the audience was so excited, you know, the go-getters, the type A, those people that will do anything to accomplish any goal in life. They were so jazzed. And the other half of the room were so deflated because they were so far away from being life balanced and having it all that they even became more depressed. And then she continued, but it will never be at the same time. <laughs> and I love that story. You know, in the seminars that I give around the world and books that I write and everything else, I try to help people work through that illusion of life balance. I try to help people get really centered on the fact that if they're racing after life balance, they're wasting their life. They're wasting their time. Let me give you another example of why life balance doesn't work. When you think about New Year's resolutions on New Year's Eve, people always say, I'm going to quit drinking, quit smoking, lose weight, get into shape, make more money, fall in love again with my partner, find a partner, get rid of the partner that I have. You know, it's like we have all these wild things we're going to do. And then what happens? On the first, you've got the greatest intentions, but because you've got so many things you're going after that you'll go after that weight loss for about 30 days, maybe 45 if you're lucky. And they'll come off first really quickly and then you don't see any progress and you go, you know what? It really wasn't about losing weight. It's falling in love again with my partner. So then you go headstrong. Maybe you get a counselor. Maybe you go into therapy and you start working towards that goal. But then if that doesn't come quick enough, you go, you know, it's not really about that. The relationship's okay. It's finding God. So then we get on this path and we go to church or we do different things. And then all of a sudden a prayer isn't answered. You know, and we go, oh, okay, well, it's really not about finding God. What it is, it's about making more money. And so we go down this path. Are you picking up where I'm going here? When we have more than one goal, when we're trying to juggle everything and live a balanced life, we end up doing nothing. Why do we think that year after year, people have the same New Year's resolutions? I mean, if you're like me, possibly, and a lot of other people, clients that I work with, is that they're coming back in in 2009 and 2010 and 2011 with many of the same goals they had 10 years ago. Okay, life balance. If this doesn't prove it, nothing else will. Life balance doesn't work. We're not perfect beings. We're people that are maybe a scout trying to become more perfect, but it's not a perfect being. It's not a perfect world. So what I'm going to do right now is I want you to sit and think about one area in life that needs your attention. In our next segment, I'm going to show you how to blast through life balance, go after the one thing that really makes a big difference in your life that you know if you were to accomplish it, everything else would change. That's what we're going to do. It's called the One Thing Theory. I created this in 1996, and we're going to find out more about it, what to do, so that you can finally move into the life that you've always wanted. And remember, it has nothing to do with life balance. I'm David Essel, author, international speaker, and much more. For more information, go to our website. It's very simple to find, talkdavid.com, T-A-L-K-David.com. You can take a look at our blog, absolutely free. We have over 200 writings. You can take a look at the books and CDs and all the work that we do in this world to make this world a more powerful, a more loving, and a more beautiful place, something that you might desire and absolutely something you deserve. Have a fabulous day. I'll look forward to seeing you again soon.